Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is a swim jig. Um, in the vise we have a 3 8 ounce um, casting jig with a 4 aught Mustad 32-848 hook. Um, this is a sickle hook, but it's different than most of the other ones. If you take a look, um, like remember the pros used to always, you know, show little tweaks. And one of the things they used to do is take their hook and bend it up a little bit. So it's, a, it, uh, catches a little bit quicker. Well, most of your sickle hooks are bent in. This one's bent out. And I know a lot of people like with the owner 5313 and all, they don't like that little beak. Well, this has the opposite. This has an, it's the point. I know you can't see it, but the point actually starts to go up. Um, this is a really nice hook. Um, must add, it's a good middle of the line hook. I use them, but, um, this one is really good. This is a winner. So that's what we have here. Three eight ounce casting jig, four aught must add thirty two eight forty eight hook. The color is green pumpkin pepper chartreuse, and that's uh, this pattern is green pumpkin chartreuse flash. Um, there's so many good colors out there and there's so many ways to do these patterns anymore. So I just show them and, you know, you could tweak them any which way you want. But we're going to get started here with some 210 flat wax nylon in olive. I got to get my ashtray, a.k.a. scrap bin. Let me just get a little base started here. Nothing too big. Don't need it. Yeah, if I um, I really love the the hybrid grass jig. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time fishing, and I only got to try it a little bit. Uh, I like the Trocar Pro swim jig. I like using the Poison Tail as a swim jig. But if I had one choice for a swim jig. This is the one I like. Um, I could play, like I could actually put a heavier hook in the mold um, and it does. It won't take that much to modify it for a heavier hook. Um, I've done that before uh, with a different mold with this, this mold. Uh, I have like three of them because again, one I made for a real heavy style hook. Um, but you could do that with a, a simple modification with the heavy hook, but this uses decent enough hooks the way it is 30 degree. Um, there's some really good ones out there. More and more, uh, are becoming available. And this hook, this, uh, like I said, this particular jig tracks really well. Uh, for me, it is a, a pure swim jig. There's no other use for it. Where like with the poison tail for me, it's um, how could I put it? It it's a multi-roll jig. I use it. I uh, drag it on the bottom as well as swim it, um, as well as bottom hop. The same thing with that Procar, uh, the Trocar Pro swim jig. Listen to me, Procar. Yeah, bleh, too many coffees this morning. And I'm r rambling again. I apologize. So we're basically going to use two colors for this. We're using, this is a half a tab of uh, Nature's Edge Green Pumpkin. And we're going to have two tabs of Green Pumpkin Chartreuse Pepper Tips. So we're going to tie in our uh, nature's edge green pumpkin first. And what I did was it, it is a half tab, but
but I cut it in half to make quarter tabs just so I could make it easier distributing the material evenly. And on this one, I'll show you why uh, getting it uh, distributed really close, uh, more accurately than the other ones. Uh, I'll show you why I need to do that. And it has to do with, it's not a big deal. It's just what we're adding to it, which is flash. Anytime you do that in early on in your jig build, you want to make sure you're, you got uh, complete coverage the way you want it. Now, I got that tied in. The next thing we're going to add is three strands of, this is chartreuse holographic flash. It makes for a really, really uh, visible jig it's it's great the amount of flash this adds um the more i use the holographic the more i want to keep using it now the real test is on the water who knows but you know just the way uh what i've had you know with flash um all the experiences with it um I don't see how this is going to hurt. I've never had flash actually like hurt the performance of a jig or a spinner bait. Um, I always think it helps because I mean, you could tell when you're bringing in a jig with no flash and then you have one with, uh, you can really see the difference. So I'm going to turn that the other way and we're going to add three more strands of our holographic uh flash holographic flashable i'll get it out and this is where we got to be careful that we don't tangle up all the flash that we have in here And what I do is I take my scissors and all these ones that are hanging real low. I just snip it off there. I better make sure I get my uh, hair clips. You never know. You might need them. Okay. We got our flash tied in. In fact, I'm going to use the hair clip now just to get this back end under control. <laughs> it's got the frizzies. For all you older folks out there, it's an old commercial for some kind of shampoo. Yeah, got the frizzies. Okay. Our chartreuse uh, tipped green pumpkin I have one piece of flash that's like sticking out at me and every time I go to make a wrap it wants to get caught in the thread And the other side. Real easy deal. Just some different ideas. I have a take on an old one too that I'm going to have to put up here. Now it's a matter of making sure nothing's tangled up, nothing's trapped. 
pretty even all the way around. Now I could start. First, I got to do is take off my clip and re put it on because uh, I got that other tab in there. Okay. Now it's just making a collar. I'm making it tight to flare my material out. And of course, you know, make it that it won't fall apart in three cast. You know what? I wish I would have um, took a picture of it because I had an incident with a friend of mine with uh, those one dollar walmart spinner baits you always see on the forums guys talk about that and you know there's pros and cons to it and yes they do catch fish but it's funny is uh that happened my buddy made a cast with one and here the the rubber band fell apart and the skirt came off and i'm like there's what you get for a buck but they do catch, you know, um, you can't argue that fact. It's when the rubber meets the road, um, you do get what you pay for. That's why I always try to tell people, get the best you can afford. It doesn't have to be the very best, but try to get something at least middle of the road for yourself. You know, and it, if you can't do that, you, you get the best that you can out of even... Um, your more value-oriented uh, pieces of tackle. Okay. So, we got the old Sally Hansons because I still haven't made it down to Cabela's. That's coming, I think, um, the Wednesday after Easter next Wednesday in eight days I'm going down I got a uh, an appointment down that way so I'll probably stop at that Cabela's in Hamburg around uh, around 9 a.m. so if anybody's in that area and wants to uh, meet up I'll be there You'll know my truck, it's a black ram and it has a Barlow sticker in the back window. Okay. Got our head cement plate on there, nice and neat. Got to spin around here, I apologize, and get my big scissors here. I only rough cut it when it's in the vise. I'll finish it up after I get the ends cut and a little bit more even to make it a little easier uh, when I take it out. See, this is why I do that because some of these like half pieces that I have tied in they get trapped underneath I don't see it I cut it and then I'm wondering where all these long pieces came from I gotta have to give up the coffee in the morning Yeah, for, I, I know I got some guys asking about the test tank. I am honestly trying to get, uh, I have a lot of things on the back burner. Um, having a little bit of financial difficulties right now, but hopefully I could straighten that out. Well, not hopefully, I have to. Um, either that or no more channel. We'll see about how things go.
Just got to go where the wind takes us, right? Green pumpkin chartreuse flash. Swim jig. There you have it. I know it's weird as, as like, from my end of it, the, the, the chartreuse looks like it's almost white. But it's not. Again, I apologize for my lighting and stuff. But that's the color of this. It's green pumpkin. It's Barlow's green pumpkin pepper. And I just dusted a little bit of chartreuse over at the, the top of the head. Not a lot. Just enough to, to show it and um, to work with my skirt material here with the chartreuse. And I don't even got to do anything. I rough cut those skirt strands, but they came out pretty even. And that's, that's, uh, boy, that's luck. But there you have it. Green pumpkin, chartreuse, fl chartreuse flash. Uh, I'll get it out. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.